My name is Ben Ross. Uh, I'm a senior here at the university studying voice performance and music education, and my hometown is Rockford, Illinois. Um, and I've had the opportunity to be involved in a lot of different things here at the university, um, both with my major, uh, things like being involved with the opera theater or singing in choir, um, but also just a lot of things all over campus. Um, I led an alternative spring break service trip. Um, I was an orientation leader. Um, I worked for housing and dining. Um, so I've had a lot of different fun ways of being involved while I've been here. I got started with music uh, when I was a kid. Um, my, my mom wanted me to take piano lessons and I really wanted to take piano lessons when I was like four or five years old. A couple years after that I joined a choir um, and ever since then I've been singing. Um, when I came to college I I didn't think that I wanted to stop doing music. I really couldn't stop doing music, and I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to major in, um, but then I started taking voice lessons, and all of a sudden I was taking more music classes than I was anything else. So that kind of, that kind of sealed it for me. And then once I started taking voice lessons, that's really when I discovered opera. My name is Dave Gear. I'm director of the School of Music. I came to the University of Iowa in 1995 and I uh, originally came uh, as the trombone teacher and worked in that capacity for um, quite a few years and then uh, moved over to administration in, in 2010. The, the Voxman Music Building is an unbelievable facility for students. Um, it was designed with student learning in mind. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a facility that's designed around our whole program, and so that means it supports uh, student learning. It has lots of social spaces, classrooms, practice rooms, rehearsal rooms, specialized facilities that support um, the courses and kind of interactions they have with their faculty. I think uh, a, a music student's education is really, um, really stands apart in some way in those two ways personal relationship that, that they develop with their professor and how that professor tracks the student's growth from the first day until the day they graduate um, over the entire course of their degree. Um, and then that, that second element that there's so much time spent um, with the intellectual academic side of music and all the supporting educational uh, experiences that they have, but there's also the applied side, the time spent um, making music with, um, with their colleagues. Once I started singing opera and being involved with opera here at the university, I just couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. So since then I've been involved in, uh, I think, six operas with the university, and I've had a couple uh, professional gigs too, which has been really, really exciting. I've always loved music, but the reason that I decided to be a singer is because of the text. Um, I love poetry, I love literature, um, and putting words and music together is what makes things so exciting. So being able to interpret a beautiful piece of music and then present that and share that is just so exciting for me. I've loved being at the University of Iowa um, mostly because of the opportunities that I've had to perform. Uh, being able to be in so many fully staged operas as an undergraduate student is so exciting and an opportunity that I don't think I would get at another institution. So after I graduate from the university, I'm going to look for a position teaching, hopefully a high school choir. Um, but I also hope to actively continue performing, um, whether that means joining a community chorus in wherever I end up moving to, or uh, continuing to audition for operas and other solo gigs, uh, working in a church, or teaching lessons. Um, I need to be involved in music for the rest of my life. I think that for a lot of prospective students when they come into the university, it can be really difficult because it's just so overwhelming. There's, there's so many things to do and there's so many different things to try. Um, and I think that one of the best pieces of advice I could give to any prospective student is just for a little bit, don't be afraid to say no. A lot of people are gonna come up to you and ask for you to do something and maybe for your first semester, for your first year, just say yes and see what happens because some of those things might be things you've never done before and never even knew were possibilities and that could lead you to a totally different place than you ever thought. 